Hello guys, welcome back to another step-by-step -step, uh, video tutorial on how to create um, your payment gateway for Shopify. So, of course, you'll be um, on the Shopify.com um, website and homepage. Of course, to start, just log on to your site. If you've not actually made an account yet um, and you're just gathering some information, of course, you can start your free trial over here and create your account by clicking and entering your email in the box over here. But I've got an account, so I'm going to quickly log in. Now, here we are on our um, admin page. Um, on the, the home page of your Shopify store. Um, if you've obviously created um, your products and your, your details, you'll see that a lot of these have ticked and that you've completed that. Um, for the sake of this video, uh, I'm going to skip ahead to the payment option. Of course, if you're just starting out, please make sure that you obviously um, click through these options and get them all set up before you get to the top of um, set up your Shopify payments. Now to obviously set up the payment gateway, just you can skip ahead and click the settings at the bottom left corner here. Now you'll see there's some options on the left hand side. Um, you can click through them by a bit just to fill that out. But um, for this video, we're going to click to the payment option on the left hand side. So you'll see straight away that there is some options to click through. Um, we'll briefly run through them all uh, before we pick one and I'll show you how to set it up. Um, but just in case, there's the option to do manual payment methods. Um, at the bottom here you can actually click certain um, specific options, for example uh, a bank deposit, um, a money order or cash on delivery or COD. COD. Um, so you can use that in case that's the particular method you want to use or you can of course create a custom payment method. Um, for example, maybe if you're wanting to trade something. Shopify has uh, approved payment providers, for example, um, PayPal and Amazon um, Pay. So you can actually just um, set these up as well by clicking these options and just um, um, having your store collect, pay, um, collect PayPal payments or Amazon um, Pay as well. So all I'm going to do is see all other providers um, just to uh, get this started and look at the alternative options. And um, straight away, we'll, we'll load up all third-party payment providers. So these are providers outside of, say, Shopify. Uh, and you can scroll down and you see there's a, a big um, big selection of different options. They're really all, they're all, they're all there's, um, some that are unavailable in your country. So you'll see if it's if that's the case, it'll be um, stated just underneath the, um, the provider. So it says here, un unavailable in your country. But over here, there's a big selection of other options to use. Uh, generally speaking, you, you want to go for the one that does provide um, the most availability. So, um, for example, these ones here are all very good. So it, it provides um, a lot of different options, um, um, and um, the big ones in particular, Visa, uh, Mastercard, Amex, uh, are also the big ones. But also has some additionals like Discover, DCB, or Diners Club. Now, to check out is a popular one, so I'll be clicking that um, to begin. And you'll see straight away that there is um, some steps to do just to get this all set up for your Shopify business. So we'll, we'll be going through each step um, one by one to show you how this all works because it looks a bit complicated. To begin, you of course need to create a checkout account. Um, so if you just click this, um, uh, a new tab will open up and it'll take you to this website here. So of course, we just need to sign up for free. Um, and it does say as well below intricate with carts like Shopify and Wix. So let's just set up the account. So it is free, so all you need to do is fill out these details um, with your business. Okay, so I've um, put through some details just now. It does ask you for your website. Now you can just use the, the website that your Shopify uh, gives for you. So you can see it's um, created here. Um, so I'm just going to click that and copy this for just now. Um, you'll have a custom um, website yourself. So I'm going to paste that in and just collect, make sure the country is correct for you and then just do your capture and then get started. I had an issue using Chrome. Um, it kept loading um, the login, uh, the create uh, user um, option. So I actually did this on Microsoft Edge and that seemed to fix the problem. Uh, the next page it comes to uh, on number two, it says create your two check um, checkout account. Uh, and now uh, what type of product you want to sell. So of course there's the option for digital products, online services, retail, physical products, offline. Of course we'll be doing drop shifting, shop, um, drop shifting on, on Shopify um, so we're going to be clicking this option here and I'm going to click um, create account. 
and that took a minute to load but um, once it has done it takes you to this website here and you can now log in to your account. So it takes you now to the uh, Veriphone uh, website where you can t type in your username and your password to get this set up. Now here we are on t to the uh, kind of home page for you for your to check out account. Now if we go back to the Shopify it says now log in and activate your to check out account and then access integrations, um, webhooks and API section in your cPanel. So let's go over here to the start activation and then uh, essentially just kind of fill this out step by step um, to get sorted. Um, you do have to have some identification documents and company documents to complete this process so just make sure you have that handy. Um, but go for each option step by step. So of course you also have to add in some of your um, information here, uh, your company name, your business type, um, for example there's individual partnership, private corporation, public corporation, company registration date um, and some other details here. Um, there's an option as well for some financial uh, details, um, your um, stakeholder details in case you have any a bit of information about your product. So again, of course, if it's digital services, retail, um, drop shipping, for example, you can click that option here. Have you processed online tra transaction for this type of business? Of course, you can answer that, uh, and you can do a uh, product as access instruction for review. Um, next tab is, of course, the account settings. So again, um, you can um, click through this as well. Over onto the documents tab, you have to input your um, company ownership documents, tax identification documents and valid proof of address um, and any additional documents here. After you have done that, there's the option um, for summary um, and this will just verify everything that you have um, you filled out. Uh, anything that you've left blank or the, uh, you need to have filled out uh, will be highlighted in red, red. Anything that is mandatory, you will have to fill out. And once you've done that, of course, you can then submit it over here in the bottom corner. Um, that'll take a couple of days for it all to be verified and accepted. Um, but once that has been done, um, you will be notified. If there's some information that you don't quite have just yet, of course, you can save it for later um, and come back once you have all the information that is required and that is mandatory. So back to the Shopify tab, um, it says now for step 3 we need to access integrations, uh, webhooks and API section in your cPanel. So going back again to our very phone or to check out um, website, there is um, a tab over here for integration, integrations and we can see here webhooks and API. So we can click that option here and it will start displaying some of our information. It says now under the API section, copy the merchant code and paste it in the merchant code file, uh, field on this page um, in the secret word section. So down here we can see over here. So if we click back, we'll look for our merchant code, which is this option here. So I can copy that and paste it in here. It will ask, ask as well for the secret word. So over here we can see the secret word down here. So um, with the secret word uh, or the INS, we can just generate it. We can now copy it and then just make sure we copy that and then click save. Uh, it says secret key updated su uh, successfully. Back into the store we can now go back to secret word and then we can click paste. Make sure you do generate a new INS secret word because it does say um, for you to do it right here in step 5. Now it says click on save settings. Now of course we actually already have done that so it says right here um, everything's updated and saved. In um, step 7 it says in the redirect URL click enable return after sale. So if we scroll down further it says redirect URL. It asks us to click enable return after sale. We've done that now. If we go back to step 8 it says for the redirect URL select section leave blank. Shopify will provide the, the return URL. So um, we will um, leave this blank of course. Um, for the return method select header redirect. So over here we can click header redirect and then click update. And that says con configuration saved successfully. And of course the, the final option is just to click on save settings uh, which we have just done already. Now 
as easy as that that's read, as ready to activate our two checkout uh, account and have that set up as a payment method um, to accept Visa, MasterCard, American Express, GCB, Discover and Diners Club onto your Shopify website so you can drop, um, drop ship um, and run your um, account um, and your shop uh, easily and effectively. There's actually a test mode as well just to make sure everything's all set up and uh, you can simulate successful and failed transactions. You can do this by clicking enable test mode and it does, verif it does warn you that when test mode is on um, all the transactions are simulated. Um, so just keep that in mind if you are um, wanting to test it out. You obviously, once you've tested it out and you're happy, you want to deselect that so it's not active from when your um, actual Shopify website goes live. So there you go guys, that's uh, effectively the end of the video. Um, I hope, Hopefully you found that easy to follow um, and now you have your two checkout accounts set up to go. Um, if there's any questions don't hesitate to give us a comment in the, the section below. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, thanks very much for watching guys. Uh, peace.